Hey YouTube, Maddie's Daddy 12 here with another legit YGO deck profile. And uh, before we get into the deck profile, I want to make sure you guys head over to legityGO.com and check out all the Yu-Gi-Oh articles. Also, make sure you head over to legitmtg.com and check out all the Magic the Gathering articles. While you're there, make sure you click on the store icon, head over to the store, and check out all of the sealed product and the singles that you will need for all of the games that you want want to play so Yu-Gi-Oh started with Saturday morning cartoons and Saturday morning cartoons is where I'm taking you now my son has been real excited with all of the tune support that recently got released and he's been wanting to build this deck so I've been helping him with a kind of unique style um, focusing on a couple of different cards that people other people are cutting out of their decks so let's get into this First, we play three Toon Dark Magician Girls. Uh, one of them signed by Pegasus himself, Darren Dunstan. Uh, but yeah, we play three Toon Dark Magician Girls. They are the only Toon uh, that we are playing that allows that is allowed to attack the turn that it is special summoned uh, or summoned. Uh, it does take one monster to tribute for it to special summon it, uh, and it is a special summon whenever you tribute to summon it out. So that's a, that's significant. Also, uh, a little bit later, you tribute the monster to special summon this, not normal summon. But it's 2,000 attack and gets to attack directly, so it's cool things. Three, Toon Cyber Dragon. Uh, Toon Cyber Dragon is uh, significant because I play. Uh, Toon Briefcase, and it's 2100 attack is a difficult number for people to deal with, so uh, they have to they have to work around that 2100, and when they do, I'm able to flip Toon Briefcase and flip whatever and uh, spin whatever monster they're trying to put on board back into their deck, so I can completely dodge that monster entirely, leaving my 2100 attack monster on the board for me to start pushing for some damage. Uh, next, I play two. Toon Gemini Elf. Uh, only two of these, uh, they do not get to attack the turn that they are summoned, and when they deal damage, uh, I get to take a card from my opponent's hand, which, as good as that sounds, uh, is not that great whenever I dump a Necros monster and then they get to play Cycle and bring it back from the graveyard, or I dump the Necros monster that's the last one that they need to complete a, a nine so they can summon Trish with Mirror. Uh, or it's a Shadal monster or a Burning Abyss monster and I trigger their effects and it starts to wreck me. So yeah, not as good of an effect as it should be, but a good effect nonetheless. Triple Toon Mask Sorcerer. Now this guy's only 900 attack. Uh, however, with Toon Kingdom, you get to protect him, and whenever he deals damage, you get to draw a card. So that rounds out all my tunes. Only uh, 11, uh, only 11 tunes in the deck. Uh, kind of a smaller number than what some other people are playing uh, in their tunes. But uh, honestly, like uh, I run a couple other things that make the deck consistent enough that not, uh, 11 monsters, 11 Toon monsters is more than enough. Uh, to round out my monsters, pushing it to 13 is two. Necroface. Uh, whenever you ban it, or whenever you activate Toon Kingdom, you got to banish the top three, and then you get to banish cards, uh, additional cards with uh, Toon Kingdom to protect your tunes. So you end up removing a bunch of stuff. So the Necroface can become extremely large, and uh, it allows you to add those cards back in, and you get to reuse them and stuff. So 13 monsters. Two Comic Hand. Uh, this is Snatch Steel as long as you have a Toon World on the field, uh, except your opponent does not gain the thousand and uh, the monster becomes uh, a tune. So now you are able to attack directly with that monster. Um, and you do have Toon World on the board in order to activate this card. So taking the monster, uh, you're gonna have the Toon World on board so that way it's gonna get to attack directly. It is gonna be treated completely as a tune. Uh, the one disadvantage of this card is it is a comic hand, not tune comic hand. So you can't search for it. So that's kind of a bummer, but it is still extremely good. I actually considered playing three of this. Uh, one thing you will note, I am not playing Mimic Cat. Uh, you cannot search for it either, and uh, it requires having a Toon Monster and Toon World, and I just feel like that's a little too inconsistent 
uh, for me to want to try it. Uh, if I was able to search them with, say, Tune Table of Contents, which I play three of, uh, maybe I would consider playing the uh, the Mimic Cat uh, and be a lot more confident in Comic Hand. But since I can't, uh, I don't. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, but three Tune Table Contents searches for anything in the deck named Tune. Uh, so that's why 13 or 11 Tune Monsters is uh, plenty because that's three less cards in the deck. Tune Kingdom. Uh, is a field spell. Let me read this for you guys so you guys know what's going on. This is one of the cards that has made this deck so much better. Uh, when this card is activated, banish three cards from the top of your deck, uh, from the top of your deck face down. This card's name becomes Toon World while it is in the field zone. Your opponent cannot target Toon monsters you control with card effects. If a Toon monster you control would be destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can banish one card from the top of your deck face down for each of those monsters instead. So I'm able to make all of my monsters live, and uh, it keeps them from being targeted also, which is significant. Now, to search for these field spells, I actually run three terraforming, which is something that a lot of people aren't doing. They're running two of. I like playing it as a three of because it makes it it makes the deck one less card. Like, these guys search for these guys, which is one less card that I have to play. And, of course, those guys search for these guys. Uh, the Patrick Hoban theory where uh, Upstarts makes the deck 37 cards, well, I get to play even less than 37 because of some of this stuff. Uh, along with the terraforming, I also run Chicken Game. So again, like Chicken Game is going to draw me an additional card. So if I open either one of these or either one of these, I can then terraforming for the other and uh, play Chicken Game, draw a card, and then play Toon Kingdom over top of it so my opponent doesn't get to draw the card also. Uh, or worst case scenario, I can play it, draw a card, and then uh, be able to protect myself because then I won't take any damage. My opponent can then use the effect also, which is why the, prim the premier play is the primary play is to play this, draw a card, and then play Toon Kingdom over top of it. But of course, that doesn't always happen for you. Uh, I do play Triple Upstart Goblin. Again, 37 cards is better than 40. Along with uh, Triple Pot of Duality. Uh, a lot of people will question the Pot of Duality because there is a lot of stuff in this deck that special summons. But the stuff that does special summon is not as uh, needed as what you may think. Um... And also, like I said before, uh, it, it's, I don't know, the stuff that you would special summon would make it uh, significant enough to want to cut this down to two. But uh, I have not had a single bit of problem with the Pot of Duality at three. It also makes this happen a lot more for me, too, the chicken race into uh, Toon Kingdom. But again, like when I'm talking about wanting 37 cards is better, 37 cards is better than 40. Well, that's 37. That's 34, that's 31, that's 28, that's 25. I play 25 cards to your 40. So, uh, yeah, as long as you don't hit me with a mistake, I do extremely well in a fast-paced game. Um, now to round out my spells... Spells. Wow. Smells? Spells? Whatever. I, I do play a D-Fissure. Uh, it does not affect me at all. Uh, it does make my uh, Necro face bigger, but none of my monsters require going to the graveyard. None of them uh, triggering grave or anything. So D-Fissure doesn't hurt me a single bit. So uh, I play D-Fissure because it doesn't hurt me and it hurts the meta. Last spell card that I run is Scapegoat. Now you're going to ask why Scapegoat? Scapegoat is actually extremely good with this uh, with this scheme because Scapegoat, the tokens cannot be tributed for a tribute summon. So I cannot tribute a mon one of these monsters to summon my Toon Summon or my Toon uh, um, Cyber uh, my Toon Cyber Dragon. However, that's a tribute summon. 
Like I said before, the Toon Dark Magician Girl is a special summon, not a tribute summon. So I can tribute my scapegoat token to summon a Toon Dark Magician Girl. And putting two Dark two Toon Dark Magician Girls on board is actually extremely significant. Gives you the chance to attack for 4K and then make something else that I'll show you guys a little bit later after I show you the traps. That rounds out all the monsters and spells. The traps are really short, only five. Two Toon Mask. Now, Toon Mask says that when I control a Toon World, I can target one face-up monster my opponent controls. Special summon one Toon Monster from my hand or deck whose level is less than or equal to the level or rank of that monster, ignoring its summon conditions. So no matter what the summoning condition is on any of these monsters, I get to bring one out whenever I resolve a Toon Mask as long as the targeted monster has a higher rank or level than whatever I'm wanting to bring out. Toon Briefcase, already mentioned it a little bit. Um, Toon Cyber Dragon on board uh, is a number that they got to deal with, and this allows me, whenever I control a Toon Monster, my opponent summons a monster, so normal or special, um, a monster or monsters, so one or multiple, I get to spin them all back into the deck. So give me a little bit of stun aspect into this, uh, makes it a lot of fun. Last but not least, Macrocosmos, again, same thought as... D Fissure, my stuff doesn't hurt me uh, getting banished instead of removed. Uh, the only thing that this does uh, that really affects me at all is it makes my Necro face uh, more powerful because everything's going to get removed and then he's going to put everything back and he gets 100 for each and makes him really big. 40 cards. All right. I'm playing scapegoat, so you got to have cool tokens. You guys know me. i got to have a cool token. So this, this token is actually... 1995 Fleer Ultra Hologram Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie Lord Zed That is my token for this. I run scapegoat so I gotta have the scapegoat tokens also and then <clears throat> And then for some of the extra deck cards that I run this is not a full extra deck as you can see there's only four of them here uh, I do run Naruto the moral leader now let me talk about this for just a second any, uh, in any situation, you can put two Toon Dark Magician Girls on board. You can attack for 4K and then overlay them into this guy. This guy takes two level 4 Spellcaster monsters. Once per turn during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a spell or trap card, you can detach one XC material from this card, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. So this is a Sheen. Only gets two negations, but it is a Sheen. So, uh, it's 2,700 attack, so it's bigger than Sheen, and I get to attack for 4K and then overlay into this guy. Yeah. So, I get to attack for 4K, and then I get to shut, uh, shut my opponent out of the game with Naruto. I play two of those guys. I really only need one. I've only ever used one, but I do have two, mainly just because I have to, honestly. Uh, Constellar Pallades takes two level five lights. That's going to be your two uh, two and Cyber Dragons. So you can make it with that. And then number nine, number sixty six, Key Master, Master Key Beetle. You make this off of Toon Mask Sorcerer or uh, Necroface, uh, and then you can use this to protect either your D Fissure or your Macrocosmos, whichever one is, uh, whichever one's on board and may be uh, causing significant problems for your opponent, or the biggest play you can do is detaching it and protecting your Toon Kingdom because whenever Toon, uh, the Toon Kingdom is destroyed, you lose all of your Toons that are on board. So, that's the extra deck monsters that I run. Uh, the, everything else that I run is all just rank 6 or rank 4 stuff. So, basic rank 4s. So, there you go, guys. That is my Toon deck. Make sure you head over to LegitYGO.com. Check out all the Yu-Gi-Oh! articles. Also, make sure you head over to LegitMTG.com. Check out all the Magic Gathering articles. When you do, make sure you click on that store icon. Head over and check out everything that you may need of all of our singles and sealed product. Uh, anything that you could use for your gaming needs. Also, if you're ever interested in writing articles, for legit YGO. Make sure you message me. Also, you can head over to Facebook 
and either message Matty Daddy 12 on Facebook or find legityGO.com on Facebook. And you can message us there if you're interested in writing for the site. Uh, there is compensation for that. So uh, if you're interested, make sure you head over there and check us out. Uh, again, guys, check out your, your tunes. Have some fun with this deck. Uh, it's not highly competitive, but it is extremely fun. And that's what we play the game for is to have some fun. So I appreciate it, guys. Subscribe. Comment down below. Show us how much you love us.